guys, it's Jordan here. If you followed along with the channel at all, you know that I started The Tiny Housewife as a vlog on YouTube over three years ago when we lived in our 85 square foot tiny house in Alaska with the purpose of sharing my experiences with people who are interested in tiny house and small space and eco-friendly living. If you ask anyone who knows me, they'll tell you a more suiting name is The Klutzy Housewife. Today I wanted to extend a huge thank you to Aaron, Cade, and Infectious Mushroom for taking the time to answer all my questions about solar setups and help clear up some of the details that I was a little bit confused on. I took your advice, Aaron, and I purchased a generator inverter that's going to be coming in the mail here soon. I think especially while we're in Washington State where it's kind of cloudy, it's important to have a backup energy source and also in case our batteries go lower, we can charge up our battery to make sure that it's at optimal level all the time. This generator cost me about $450 after tax and had really good reviews online. It will allow me to charge my batteries up should they go below peak level and if I needed to, I can run things off of the generator itself. You guys can expect to see a video on that as well. I know that a lot of us want to get away from fossil fuels altogether, and I'm with you on that. But in order to keep my batteries in peak level, should they run lower, it's good to have a backup so that I don't have to cause future mining of precious metals to rebuy my battery should I irresponsibly let them run too low. It's not about being perfect. There is no perfect answer, but it's about doing what you can when you can and doing your best at it. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and check out my other YouTube videos and check out my blog. It's tinyhousewife.blogspot.com.